Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. 2,000 points of Necrons versus 1,000 Suns. We're going to be playing Search and Destroy as our deployment type, and we will be playing the Sealed Orders Maelstrom of War mission from Chapter Approved. So with our deployment type, the 1,000 Suns won the choice. They're going to be deploying in this quarter, and the Necrons will be deploying in this quarter. So we've got Secret Objectives. Our starting hand has six cards. We have to go completely through that hand before we are allowed to draw new, and your hand size goes down by one each time. Uh, we also have stratagems that allow us to discard those cards to help us get a new start if we get a bad hand. Um, we have six objectives. One is placed here, another here, a third in the crater edge, a fourth behind the Prometheum relay there, a fifth in the corner on the ruins, and help me out, Josh, where's our sixth one? Also down here. We've only set them up five minutes ago, but I've already forgotten. So there's the sixth one. All right, you've seen the table. We will be right back with the armies. First up, by way of armies, we have the Necrons, 2,000 points. Um, we're going to be running a battalion detachment. Our destroyer lord there in the center is going to be the warlord. He has the Enduring Will warlord trait from Chapter Approved and the Veil of Darkness relic. Um, he is going to be joined by a Cryptek with a Staff of Light, three squads of 12 warriors, two squads of 10 immortals with Gauss Blasters, two Triarch Stalkers on the flanks that have Heat Rays. Um, then we have four destroyers on the left-hand side, three heavy destroyers on the right, and a Ghost Ark in the middle. A lot different than what I've been used to playing this edition. I have had a monolith in every list so far. I'm already wondering if I'm going to miss it, but it is a lot of points. I got a lot of stuff in exchange. Just want to try some new units out here before we get a codex, see what else I like. So that is the Necron half. Thousand Suns coming up next. Next up, we have the Thousand Suns. Josh, tell us what you got. So I'm going to be running a battalion detachment. The Demon Prince will be my uh, Warlord. His Warlord trait will be Otherworldly Presence, so he'll have plus one invul. And his Relic will be the Dark Matter Crystal. He has Gaze of Fate and Flickering Flames for his Psychic Powers. My second HQ is an Exalted Sorcerer with uh, Gift of Chaos and Prescience. And my third HQ is a Terminator Sorcerer with Warp Time and Infernal Gaze. My troop slots are fairly full. I've got five squads of ten Zangors, and then I have two squads of ten Rubrics. One sergeant has Glamour of Zinch. The other sergeant has Weaver of Fates. Then I have a squad of six Terminators with a Soul Reaper. Uh, the Terminator sergeant has uh, Temporal Manipulation. Then uh, in my fast attacks, I have two squads of three Spawn. And for my heavy supports, I have a pair of Forge Fiends. All right, so you've seen the armies and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the maelstrom. All right, deployment is complete. My overlord is a gentleman, so he's going to let the Thousand Sons explain their army first. Uh, so I've got the six Terminators and the Terminator Sorcerer are going to arrive by Deep Strike. The Zangors are blocking up the front backed up by the spawn in the dead center of my line and both squads of rubrics filling in behind the close combat troops followed up by the exalted sorcerer who's hiding in the masses and the demon prince between the two forge fiends and the zangors in the back are providing a deep strike cordon because there is a veil of darkness out there and the last thing we want is to lose characters to a backfield drop later in the game i mean the last time my necrons fought this army it was coming out of an index look at this herd of chaos chickens uh, the, the numbers have definitely swung upward for the Thousand Suns. Very eager to see how this one goes. On the Necron side, we have built a Cordon as well. We know that he has a Dark Crystal hiding in his army. And uh, the Terminator is also deep striking, so we built a Cordon to keep him from getting into my backfield. Um, we have the Stalkers anchoring either flank, the Destroyers and the Immortals making up a strong center, and Warriors providing electric fence all the way around with a Ghost Ark in the center to protect them. The Crypt Tech is deployed up front where he is in range of all squads to give them a helping hand once things start getting real. Uh, so that's where we're at right now. We're getting ready to dice off. Necron's finished first. So let's see what the Thousand Suns get. A three. So we need a two to return the draw. A six will do it. So uh, Necrons will be going first. We will be back after their opening salvo.
All right, Necrons will have no assault phase this turn. We did peel everybody back into a tighter bubble here uh, to castle up a little bit until we see where the uh, Zangors are going to come in. It was just too close of a range for that many bodies. So everybody castled up. We advanced into firing range with the Immortals, kind of wedged them up here on the front end of the hill along with the Destroyers. Everybody volleyed down range. Uh, we managed to get three spawn total, two from the front squad, one from the back squad. Uh, two of those went down to heat ray shots from the Stalkers. The third one went down to combined fire from 20 Immortals and four Destroyers. We managed to get one spawn, so not real impressive there. Uh, incidental fire from the Warriors and the Ghost Ark at long range took two of the Zangors from here and three from this squad. These guys did pass their morale check. However, we did get one good shot out of the turn. The Heavy Destroyers hit and wounded with all three shots and cored the Mauler, or the Forge Fiend in one shot. Uh, he did not explode. Thankfully, the Thousand Suns saved that are standing in front of him. Um, but that is the end of Necron's turn one. Uh, so first blood uh, and uh, one card will go to the Necrons this turn. So that'll be two to zero going into the Thousand Suns turn. All right, Thousand Suns, turn one has rolled to an end. Uh, Psychic Phase did not do much, fell most of the powers that they tried to do, uh, but they did advance. Uh, all the Zangors in the spawn advanced. The rubric spread out onto the objectives here, and the Demon Prince moved up as well. Uh, back here, where they cast Flickering Flames to give the uh, Forge Fiend plus one to wound, and then took Presence from the Psyker in this squad, or the Sorcerer, rather. Uh, once he took that, he also burned a Demon Forge, to put eight wounds on this Triarch Stalker. Uh, the last two were then taken out by these Thousand Sons who took Veterans of the Long War. Uh, other than that, the only damage the Necrons took, they lost one warrior to Smite and one warrior to a Bolter shot from these Thousand Sons from long range. Uh, so that is the end of turn one. We have each lost an armored asset, but not a whole lot else. Uh, Necron turn two coming up. Score is currently two to two. Necron shooting phase is complete, and it was a bloody one. We've got a ton of dead Zangors. Uh, everything moved up to try to get some rapid fire. Everything moved up successfully into such range. Uh, we were able to fire through the gap. After reanimation, we did get both of the warriors back that had fallen here in the front squad. They fired through into the Zangors. We have two survivors from one squad and one from another. Uh, going to see how they do on morale. They're both each going to need a one for anybody to survive. Um, the rubrics here took one casualty from the destroyers. Uh, the heavy destroyers continued their work, uh, fired down here, and left the forge fiend with one wound remaining. Uh, so that is the end of the Necron turn. We're not going to attempt any charges. Uh, we're going to check some morale here. So for the two-man squad, they're going to need a one. And they have a four, so they have fled. And the one-man squad, the Twist Prey, is going to need a one. And a six, he's decided he's had enough. So that will finish off the Zangors up front, uh, but the Thousand Suns are still almost completely intact with only one rubric down. We will be back after the Thousand Suns respond. Thousand Sons have completed their turn up to the assault phase, had a pretty good turn, uh, made a good portion of their psychic powers, missed a few that they were really needing, but got some good ones off as well. They brought their Terminators in and were able to warp time them up. Uh, over here, these rubrics advanced along with the spawn and the demon prince. Uh, the crippled Forge Fiend stepped forward along with the Zangors to try to get into the fight here. Uh, shooting and psychic phase then managed to kill uh, five warriors from this squad, or I'm sorry, six. Uh, four from this squad when the rubrics rapid fired to them and the terminators took a veterans of the long war to annihilate the 10-man immortal squad on this end we also took two wounds on the heavy destroyers from smite from that sergeant he rolled an 11 and did two wounds to them so a good portion of necrons got shot up we are looking at some assaults coming in here once that is over we will be back 
Thousand Suns have completed their assault phase, and there was a confluence of fates, it would seem. Uh, everything worked out well for them. Had a very good assault phase here. The, uh, the spawn charged in. They took three wounds on Overwatch, rolled three sixes uh, for their armor saves, and made it into combat without a hitch. Uh, they did knock down a couple of warriors that I forgot to mark. The warriors wounded them twice in turn. Uh, the Demon Prince was able to kill a pair of uh, warriors, and the uh, Thousand Suns that charged with him boloed miserably, uh, but did just leave four warriors alive there. However, this was the big one. Uh, the Terminators made their charge in. We did heroically intervene with our uh, Destroyer Lord. The Destroyer Lord killed four Terminators in response, but they were able to knock out all three Destroyers. Uh, we uh, took no wounds from the squad. They didn't do anything, even with a uh, um, Veterans of the Long War card. But the sergeant was able to put three wounds in with his power, power staff, uh, three failed armor saves. I thought about rerolling one, but figured I might be okay. Nope, three sixes for his four staff, so I lost all the heavy destroyers to that one guy. Uh, but at least the destroyer lord was able to exact a pound of flesh in return. Um, so that is where we are at at this point. Uh, the Thousand Suns turn his roll to an end, so we're going to go ahead and do some morale now. Uh, the Terminators are going to go first. On a five or less, they're good. And with a five, they thought about it, but they're okay. Uh, so my warriors that are fighting the Demon Prince are going to use two points for insane heroism. We are going to mind wipe them, make them forget about their poor dead friends. Uh, the ones over here lost six, so we're going to need a four or less to stay intact. And with a four, we are good as well. We thought about breaking as well, but nobody dies to morale. So that is the end of Thousand Suns turn two. Necron response coming up. Necrons turn three rolls to an end as far as shooting goes. Uh, these guys were pulled out by Veil of Darkness. They were the ones that were in with the spawn. Uh, the spawn squad, we were able to bring all of them but two back. Uh, then they used Veil of Darkness to move over here. Um, the other squad of warriors uh, reanimated all but three over the course of uh, their normal reanimations plus reanimations from the barge here. Uh, the Immortals redressed. We stuck in combat there just to try to hold those guys up for another turn. Uh, the Destroyers floated over here. Silly me, I forgot I can't shoot that character because there are guys in combat behind me. Um, but we were able to kill both of these Terminators with the Immortals. Um, and then the uh, Heavy Destroyer, or the Destroyers rather, fired through the gap, put down three of these Rubrics. Um, these Warriors redressed to try to fight against the Spawn, but the Triarch Stalker scored two hits and obliterated both of the Spawn. Uh, so these warriors then fired against the Terminators and did absolutely nothing. Uh, so at that point, uh, we are going into the assault phase. Uh, do have one more unit shoot. Just realized I forgot my ghost arc. So we're going to shoot him, and then we will be back uh, after the Necrons declare the one or two charges they have. All right, we did back up and shoot the ghost arc because I did forget to shoot it. it. Fired through the gap, put three or four wounds on the Rubrics, who then failed three more saves. Uh, so they are down to four guys now. Uh, the rubrics here were unharmed by my close combat attacks. The prince was able to kill a measly one, uh, or was it two? two? I think he got two, yeah. And then uh, two more went down to the rubrics and their sorcerer. Uh, down here we charged in, we punched one hole in this sorcerer. Uh, he did no damage in return, did cause one wound, but it bounced from our armor. Uh, so the necrons, the only morale we would have, we will, would auto pass because we are leadership 10. Uh, but these rubrics will need one at negative six. And with a six, and we are out of points, that's a 12. That will eradicate the squad, unfortunately. Uh, so that is the end of Necron's turn three. A uh, thousand sun response coming up. We were up to the assault phase in the Thousand Suns' turn. Everything continued its push. Uh, we were, they were able in the psychic phase through some fairly shoddy psychic dice uh, to bring down four of the six warriors here that were locking up the Prince and the Thousand Suns. Uh, the Sorcerer then charged the Immortals to get the assault phase underway. Uh, they, two of the Immortals were killed by the hitting on six plus Forge Fiend, so he continues to impress. Um, but the Sorcerer, we hit him like seven times on Overwatch, put five wounds in him. He luckily rolled three of those as saves um, and took two wounds, uh, but he's in combat with us now here. Um, that is where we're at at the moment. Uh, also, the uh, Zangors took a Dark Crystal and shot back here into the backfield. Uh, so that is up to the Assault phase. We've got a couple of close combats to work out, and we'll be back. 
All right, Thousand Suns, uh, close, close combat has ended. Uh, they tried here with the Sorcerer to do any damage, but we gong showed nobody hurt anybody down here. Um, in this close combat, the uh, the Warriors got to go first because he did choose with the Sorcerer first. Um, the Exalted Sorcerer came in, uh, did nothing to the Immortals. Uh, next, his Sorcerer went. Then we swung with the t one Warrior who was still in range. He killed a Rubric somehow. Uh, the Rubrics killed him and moved up to lock the one Survivor from that squad. Uh, the Demon Prince was left out of range to do anything there, uh, so he was unable to finish that squad off. It was just barely hanging in there still. Um, so that is the end of that turn. Uh, one Warrior and one uh, Thousand Sun in the uh, morale phase. So now we are going to uh, morale, or I said in the morale, in the fight phase. For the morale phase, this one Warrior lost five buddies, so we're going to need anything but a six to keep him in the fight. A one will keep him around. Uh, so continuing to be a thorn, uh, the Immortals are uh, grateful for his support there because he still has reanimation since he hung around. Uh, so that is the end of Thousand Suns turn three. We are going into the Necron turn at the top of four now. Necron turn four is up to the assault phase. Uh, we moved the stalker up in the hopes we could get a good shot through with the heat ray on the prince. We did uh, hit him once, but failed to wound. We also burned our last command point trying to get a hit on that second die and were unable to convert. Um, however, the immortals fell back onto the ridge with the crypt tech. Um, these warriors were able to destroy the um, sorcerer with their gauss flayers. Uh, this one moved back with his Gauss Flare Arrays, killed five of the ten Zangors that moved into our backfield. Uh, over here, we did reanimate quite a few. We got five of the uh, 11 back, uh, so that should be enough to hold the, the rubrics one more turn, hopefully. Uh, but we did get the Sorcerer here. These guys fell back from combat, and using their fly rule, were able to kill the guy they had been fighting. Uh, the Necron Overlord... Uh, and his boys moved in this direction, uh, trying to close some distance over here in case we have any points that we need to get later in the backfield. Um, so we're going into the assault phase. We will be back after the Necrons get done there. In the assault phase, we made a couple of charge moves. The uh, barge back here, or the ghost arc rather, charged into the Zangors. He killed one. They did him one damage point in return. Over here, we were able to knock down another rubric. Uh, they killed three of the warriors off, but uh, did lose one guy in return. Uh, we charged the prince with the stalker. We were unable to hurt him. We got one wound through, but he did make a three-up in ball. Uh, he responded with three wounds with the axe. We failed all three saves, but we made the quantum shielding on two of the three. So we're down three points there. Uh, so that is the end of the Necrons for turn four, uh, going into the Thousand Sun response next. Went ahead and rolled the entire Thousand Suns face together since the shooting and movement were kind of short. Uh, he was able to get off a couple of psychic powers. We got a uh, gaze of fates here and a 11 on the, or 12 on the smite roll. The Demon Prince did mortally wound himself on his third failed Perils of the Warp for the game. Uh, but he was able to smite the uh, Triarch Stalker for five points and then destroy him in the assault phase. Um, here the Rubrics killed all three guys without the Sorcerer even having to swing. Um, but that was the extent of the damage for the turn. Uh, Zangors actually did chip the pain again on this thing. Um, but that did give him four points because he secured this objective. He secured the objective that his Forge Fiend is on. And he killed a unit in close combat. Um, and he also had the Zangors in my backfield. So big turn there for the Thousand Suns. Swung it back 6-10 to 10 in their favor. Uh, Necron response in turn 5 coming up. All right, Necrons are up to the assault phase. Uh, we managed to cut down all the rubrics, took all of our firepower, um, except for this one squad of warriors who then promptly obliterated the Demon Prince who had a three plus invul. Uh, so we managed to pick up Warlord and destroy the last of the rubrics. Um, we are getting ready to launch a couple of charges and then Necron turn five will be at an end.
Necrona Salt Phase did not go at all to plan, unfortunately. Uh, we charged in here, did absolutely nothing. Kind of expected that, but the Zangors for the third turn in a row managed to wound. Uh, so we are back down to 11 hull points. They've kept three out of it in, after the Ever Living. Um, down here, we charged with the Warsoth Lord, missed with all four attacks and all on twos, so no rerolls. Uh, the Forge Fiend did not do anything in return, thankfully. Uh, so we're going into the bottom of five with the Thousand Suns, and we will be back. All right, Thousand Suns turn was obviously short, so we just roll it all together. Um, combat down here. The Ghost Ark killed one of the Zangors. The Zangors punched two more holes out of it, um, so it is down to nine points. Down here, the uh, Overlord finally realized, oh yeah, I was actually trying to do something. So uh, he put this thing down to one wound, unfortunately. Infernal Regeneration has kept it alive. So if the game ends now, it is 9 to 11 in favor of the Suns. Despite their severely depleted forces, they will walk away with a win. Josh is getting ready to roll the dice on a 3+. plus. We continue. And that's it. Necrons have been vanquished. Thousand Suns victory. We will have after action reviews and army lists at the blog as always. Uh, give us a like on Facebook and a subscription on YouTube if you liked what you saw. Um, excited to see more games with these Thousand Suns going forward. Very interesting army now that they've got their own book. Um, as always, guys, thank you for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.